you guys. So today we're going to make some yogurt cheese. This is kind of uh, a riff on a ricotta, but it's made with yogurt. You know I make my own yogurt. So this is full fat homemade yogurt. And what we're going to do is strain out all the whey in here. No way. Yes way. Strain out all the way. Ooh, there's not even any way at the top. See all that wrinkly stuff? That's cream. Yum. Um, so we're going to strain it out, and then what we're going to be left with is really super thick yogurt. You can eat it just as is or add something to it, right? So we're going to add some savory things to it to make it more like a ricotta, and then I can use it in a pasta, lasagna, roll-ups, that kind of thing. So what you need, get you, get you a container that's kind of tall um, because you don't want the strainer to be sitting in any of the way, right? You want it tall enough to where, to where it's above it. You could line this with a big one of those big, huge coffee filters. You could use paper towels. Um, I used to get just linen napkins. This is a big, huge one. Linen napkins at the thrift store, and I used them exclusively for things like this. Um, just another linen napkin that I got. It's actually pretty. Uh, but now I have these and this is a nut milk bag. So it's a bag that you make like almond milk out of or whatever milk you want. It's just a muslin bag and it fits in here pretty well. Um, and did I say you could use paper towel? You can use paper towel. But make sure there's no hairs and stuff in there. You can wash this thing just in the washing machine. So it might pick up some lint. Anyway, so we're going to strain it through here. And what I'm going to do is put this in there, and that's going to take uh, a minute because I used regular mouth jars, and you know how that goes. So I'm going to put two of these ta -da, in here, and then we're going to strain it overnight in the fridge. So uh, while I'm doing this, I'm thinking some stuff. You can use just regular uh, store-bought yogurt for this. Of course, a non-flavored one would be best. Um, I don't think there's any of the sweet flavors that would work well. Even lemon, I thought, well, lemon might be interesting, but I think it's too sickeningly sweet to add into something like a lemon chicken, you know what I mean, once you make it savory. So, all right, I'm going to uh, finish this up. All right, so we just put this in the fridge and then let it drain overnight, and we'll come back and look at the bottom tomorrow. Hi you guys, so you might remember a couple days ago we started making this, well of course you remember because for you it was 30 seconds ago, I strained some of that yogurt and you can see it's all pretty much dry, well we do still have a little bit here, don't we, give it a little squeeze, I guess I could even let it go another day, another beauty about these nut bags is they're really super strong so you can really reef on them. Look how much whey I got out of there. It's actually kind of pretty, isn't it? It kind of has a strange green color. But let's take this out and put it into a dish and take a look at it. So the best thing to put that into, of course, is going to be a glass dish with a tight-fitting lid so we can save this. Right now it's a soft cheese and we want it to stay nice and beautiful. And look, just look at that. Go ahead and flop it on out here. Again, beautiful with the bag, just upside down and take it right out. I'll spend some time just kind of taking off those bits and pieces here. All right, so we got that done. So what we have here, as I said, is much thicker than regular yogurt, right? It's more like cream cheese at this point. It does have a different flavor, of course, than cream cheese does. I would be hard pressed to know this was yogurt eating it like this. It has a softer flavor. It is not nearly as tangy as it was. The tang and everything is really in here, not in the cheese itself. So what do we do with it? Well, we could still use it as a, a yogurt cheese and uh, put fruit in it, put sugar in it and eat it like that. But when I do this, I like to make this into something that's savory. I will add um, oregano and basil, parsley. I will put this in 
some kind of a lasagna dish, add it to spaghetti, make a carbonara, uh, lasagna roll, uh, pasta roll-ups, um, something that is savory. I could even add um, jalapenos, uh, salsa, and make a nice spicy dip. Suddenly I had two thoughts, so I needed to go into the other room and grab a couple things. This is uh, pickled jalapenos with carrots and onions. This is something like when you are at a Mexican restaurant, you get uh, your chips, your salsa, and you get tacos, and they bring out a plate of those big jalapenos. It's a little oily. That's what this is. Uh, it's a great side. It will blow your freaking socks off. Hot, but that, oh, those together? But that's not for your average citizen. It's too hot. Have you ever had cowboy candy? It's also jalapenos with different kinds of peppers. It's a relish of sorts, Ugh. but it has a, a lot of sugar in it too. So it's sweet and spicy and this in there, that would make a killer dip that most people could handle, especially if you, you know, put it in a little at a time. Uh, I guess so what I'm saying is that this is a blank canvas. You can do so much with it. You don't have to use homemade yogurt for this. Just buy plain yogurt when it's on sale. Put it through your strainer. Save the whey. Use it for baking. Use it to make ricotta. Did you know you could make cheese out of that? There's cheese in there. And I'll link a video that I did on how to get cheese out of there. There's really cheese in there. And um, yeah, or just eat it like that. It's a beautiful thing. So check it out. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'm going to do something. So, thanks for watching.